Today we're going to be talking about Lat26 Carbon Guard. This is a great product for your vessel or for your yacht, uh, but it's also a great product uh, that crosses over into the automotive industry too. And today we're going to show you how to apply this, uh, not only to the automotive paint here, but also to automotive glass and just a couple other areas as well. Okay, so I have a Lat26 um, uh, Marine Polishing and Applicator Pad. Uh, the yellow side is the polishing side, the black side is the uh, applicator side. Applicator side is the black foam, it's very, very soft, great for applying waxes and sealants. The yellow side is good for polishing areas, you need to do any hand polishing around a certain area that a machine can't get to. But today we're going to be using the black side, the applicator side, with the Carbon Guard, the Lat26 Carbon Guard. I've got it in a squeeze bottle right here. Uh, I like to use squeeze bottles when you're doing a large area. You can use anything you want, including the bottle that it comes in. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and apply it with the squeeze bottle onto the surface. Here I, you can see I'm applying it directly to the foam side, a few dots at a time. And that should do me for right now. Now, I'm going to start up here, and we're just going to go ahead and apply this in a circular motion. Whenever you're applying any type of sealant, whether it be Lat26 Carbon Guard or anything else, any type of wax or polymer sealant, you want to make sure the surface is clean of any debris. So you want to give it a wash down at the very least. Uh, perhaps it needs a polish as well, and you can get into that, but uh, you can watch our other videos for polishing and prepping the surface uh, if you need to go that route. But for today, we've just cleaned the surface of this hood and we're just going to go ahead and apply the, apply the sealant. Now another way you can apply this to, a, uh, to paint or even to other surfaces is applying it directly. If you're going to apply it directly, we recommend dots. So here I'm going to put on dots for you to see. This is good if you're doing large surfaces. The nice thing about the dots on the surface is it prevents you from adding too much product to the foam. Sometimes these can get overloaded. So putting dots onto a surface like this, there we go, allows you to spread the product evenly without putting too much on. I always like to call it a game of Pac-Man as I like to go around and like lift up and eat the dots. Using a circular motion with a lot of overlap very important to make sure that you've got an even coat on the surface and you don't miss any areas. There we are. All nice and coated. Now we're going to go ahead and wipe off the residue. With Lat26 Carbon Yard, you don't want to leave it on the surface too long. You want to make sure that you wipe it off uh, generally within five minutes. Um, in this situation, I would wipe it off as soon as I've you know, done coating this hood and move on to sections about this size. It is a fast curing product uh, designed for the marine environment, but more importantly for subtropical and tropical environments. So it's designed for high heat, high humidity environments with a fast cure so you can do back-to-back -back coatings. Uh, this is important, especially for detailing companies, uh, so they can put on two full coatings back to back. Instead of having just one good coating, they'll end up with two full coatings. The downside of a fast cure is you can't really put it on you know, such a hot surface. If the surface is too hot, putting on Carbon Guard, because of the fast cure that's already, uh, that's already formulated inside of it, will cause it to, to cure super fast a lot before you even get a chance to wipe it off. If you do run into a situation where Carbon Guard has cured onto the surface uh, prematurely uh, due to the fact that the surface is just too hot, you can remove it with Carbon Guard. By applying another coating, generally you can remove the residue of the Carbon Guard with Carbon Guard. Here we've got one full coat on, and we've got a nice coat on the surface, nice and smooth. With Lat26 Carbon Guard, you can put on multiple coats, uh, not just one or two, but you can go all the way up to five. Uh, certainly not something you really need to do on the automotive side. Uh, maybe, maybe if you've got a, a boat that uh, has an exhaust problem, uh, multiple coatings would certainly come in handy. Carbon Guard is great on glass too. Provides great protection. 
not only UV, but gives a great hydrophobic properties on the glass. With its wipe on, wipe off formula, makes it super easy to protect your glass. It's a great wipe on, wipe off formula. No need to wipe and wipe and wipe. Nope, just wipe off the residue and you're good. No blue tinting. Look at that, wipes clean, no streaks. This could also be used on glass that has tint, uh, especially if you've got the tint on the outside, it can go right over it. Carbon guard is a polymer sealant, uh, multi-surface polymer sealant that's uh, specifically designed not only to work on paints, but you can use it on the chromes, you can use it on rubbers, glass, plastics, basically just about every surface on the outside of the, of the car. Thank you guys for joining us today. I'm Jonathan Broaden with Lat 26 Degrees. For more information, go to our website at lat26degrees.com.